Hey guys, it's Stacey Chan here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I draw my heads. I thought maybe you guys would like to see how I get really into the detail of my sketches and outlining. I was just wanting the hope that someone would get some inspiration or want to learn more about how I draw my unique style. <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to how I normally draw, I normally just go onto my layers and, like, delete the background because that always helps me in the end. So let me just do that now. Go over here, delete the background. And now, normally when it comes to sketching, using a different color other than black helps a lot. So I'm going to take this nice red make a circle this circle here is my base outline it's going to make it so my head is nice and even on both sides but in this case we want to make his head go to the left here and how we're going to do that is we're going to make two lines which is going to lead us right into the middle almost like making a plus sign in that middle of where those two lines attach is where we're going to end up making another circle. This another circle here is going to help us measure how far we want the nose to be to the face. Now that we have figured out where we want the nose, we are going to make it all nice and even. Even bleh, my words here, all nice and even around the head, so it looks decent when it comes to the creature we're trying to make. And now we're going to mark where the eyes are. The eyes are always going to be on the opposite ends of where that middle of the plus sign is. Then we make the neck. Normally my necks are a triangle or an oval shape type of thing, all depending on what angle the creature is looking at. And now we're going to figure out where we want the eel. Here in a little bit, eel. Now that we have the whole entire sketch done, we're going to put our capacity down so we can actually outline it. Now, we're going to slowly outline and trace over our thing here. Just making it far enough onto the neck that it doesn't look like it's the whole entire head. Now I'm tracing all the way around it till we get to the tip of the head. The tip of the head is where we're going to add the fluff. The fluff of the hair. Now that we have a whole entire surrounding of it all, we're going to mark out where we have the nose and the hair and the ears. Uh, hold up. Alright, we're going to mark the nose here, right where we had it before. So we're going to make another small little circle. Just enough to make it look like a nice, round, little, boobable nose. Now, the eyes normally are white where we had our marking. Since my character here has straight round eyes, I'm just going to grab the circle tool and make a circle there. The circle tools can be very helpful in many situations. Now, we're going to just make a mouth white underneath the nose. Probably just about no more than an inch. There we are. Now we're going to attempt to add a tongue here in a second. There, nope. Okay. It's not always going to end up perfect, but that's why you always can retry. Again, there you go. Now it has tongue. Now let's add the hail fluff. The hail fluff 
and coves, a lot of coves. We're just gonna make a whole bunch of random zigzags to make it look like there's a bunch of floof on the top of the head. And now the eel is normally white from the eye, from the tip of the eye to the end of the head. So we're going to just add the eel white veil. Sometimes it can be different depending on the type of eels you have. In this case, we're doing a beagle like eel shape. Now once you have that all done, all you have to do is easily erase those small little markings you had done originally. And there you go, you have the base of a dog. A beagle more specifically. Now you can add random intertics of patterns and designs as you please. In this case, I'm going to give him button eyes. There we are. So I want him to be almost like a puppet structure. And then I'm going to make it look like he was all stitched up here by putting little random markings like so. Then on that line, I'm just going to make little slash marks all throughout it. Make, make it look like he was sewn. They don't all have to be next to each other. They can be randomly spread or whatever. Now I'm going to do that to the eel as well. To make it look like the eel was also sewn on. And the piece of the neck as well. Alrighty, there you have it, a doggo. That's how I normally make my head, heads naturally. This is a short-haired dog, so most of the creatures I make are a lot more fluffy. If you would like to see more of a full-on sketching process, just tell me. Now, before we leave, I will show you a quick example of what other directions may look like. So let me grab my sketching tool here and make two large circles. Nope, that's the wrong color. Two large circles. And then on those two large circles, I'm going to show you guys what other directions may look like. In this direction, we're going to have them look straight forward. Don't worry about the lines being even, but right in the middle of those two lines where they touch is where the nose normally ends up. Now on this one, we're going to have him... Uh, let's have him look down. Yeah, We're going to put his nose right there. And that's normally, the nose is where your head's going to end up always facing. Depending on what position or what species of animal you have, it's all going to matter on what type of direction or far the nose is going to look from the body. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's, it's not much. It's not much, I, I know, but I hope you guys liked it anyway, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing, please. <laughs>